Hello, my name is Ian Harmon and I am the horn player for the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Islander Winds. Today, I will be demonstrating how to correctly empty water from the French horn, as well as give you a few tips to make the process easier. The French horn is a complex instrument and has many lengths of tubing for water to collect. It is important to know safe techniques for emptying your instrument to prevent possible damage and adequately remove all water from inside. The first technique will be to empty the main tuning slide. With the horn in your lap, remove the mouthpiece and invert the instrument in a clockwise motion, leaving the lead pipe down in between your legs. Having the horn between your legs gives you greater control over the weight of the instrument and can prevent you from dropping it. Pull out the main tuning slide and empty into a vessel where your bodily fluids will not be shared. You could use a towel, a trash can, etc. The second step will be to empty the F and B flat tuning slides. Assuming you are following along, on the front of the instrument, you will find the B-flat tuning slides. Only one really needs to be emptied, because the two links of tubing are connected to the same rotor. Once finished, make a clockwise motion and put the horn back upright in your lap. Down and to the right of your main tuning slide should be the F-slide. One of the first places your horn will collect water will be here, so don't worry if you have to empty it often. The final slides to empty are the first, second, and third slides. Creative names, right? When pulling out a slide, you must always depress the valve it is connected to. Otherwise, it creates a pressure change, and you can pull dirt and grime deeper into your instrument. If you're as impatient as I am, you will like this next trick. Inverting the horn 90 degrees clockwise, you can drain all the water from your valve slides into your valves, and then trap them in your third slides for easy removal. Carefully shake and press down the keys on the instrument after you've rotated it. Make sure to flick down the trigger if you have a double horn. You will have just as much water in the B-flat slides. After moving all the water into your valves, engage the third key and trigger. Then rotate while gently shaking the horn clockwise and secure the bell on your left leg. Now, all of the water should be in your third valve slides. While pressing the third key, use your right hand to pull and empty water from these two slides. If any of the water escaped your valves, it will most likely be in your B-flat tuning slide. After emptying your instrument, it isn't a bad idea to blow through it and check and make sure you have completely removed the water. Wipe any water off the surface of the instrument. Sometimes it can also get in the bell as well, to prevent corrosion. Happy practicing and good luck in the fall semester.